Hey girls, how are you doing? Uh, Wednesday again and I'm live here again to check in with you, see how you're doing. I hope you're all well. Um, I'm so excited that my group is still growing and that you're interested in all of the topics that come with energy creation and well-being and health. And again, for all of those people who joined us who are new, um, please ask your questions. You can post in the group. Um, you can comment on posts, ask me questions. You can contact me directly. Uh, I want to get the dialogue going with you. I want you to engage and ask your questions. I'm really here to support you and to serve you. So take advantage of this and, uh, and just engage and, and let me know that you're seeing my stuff. If you see this video, please like it uh, or give give me a heart or like it so I know that that you you see um, when I do this uh, Facebook Live. All right, so today uh, I want to talk a little bit about the summer and what's happening here on my side, how I'm going to support you in the summer. And um, let me tell you a little bit about summer is always a tricky time. For us um, entrepreneurs, it's always the question, do we take time off? Um, are we working? You know, and I have uh, little kids who are in school and they have the summer off. And even now with this crazy online schooling this year, they've been home for a long time. And we as a family, we decided that it's important that we take breaks and that we actually go someplace else, else than our house um, just to get away from things. And so I've been planning my summer very carefully because sometimes it can cause some anxiety because we don't want to let our clients down. We want to be available, you know, when we're needed. And it is sometimes a fine balance to walk on how much time you take off to spend with your family, which is super important. Um, and also don't neglect uh, um, your clients and your business needs. And if you are... You're an entrepreneur like me, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but even if you have a job, you're probably thinking, okay, how much time can I take off uh, from work? And let me tell you, when it comes to energy creation and energy uh, sustainability, downtime is so, so important. And often we underestimate the importance because we think we can't leave our responsibilities. And, um, you know, for me as a type A and a high achiever personality, this was always something I, I was struggling with, you know, accepting that it is okay to be away for a while and it's okay to not be online and, and watch, uh, social, me watch social media and, and um, my emails all the time. And it took me a few years to fully accept this. It's really... It's, it's a process sometimes, maybe you can relate. And, um, but oh boy, does it make a difference if you have downtime for your energy? Because your body needs this time to rejuvenate and it needs the time to replenish its store. And also just getting away to see something else, not be in your own four walls can be very, very rejuvenating. And creative juices can flow again if you're out of it physically, if you re remove yourself physically from your surrounding. And so we took uh, a few days off last week and we went to a different place, not far from home, but just to see something else. And we spent almost all day outdoors. And um, we were battling with the elements. We hadn't seen so much sun in a long time because we were inside most of the time. Um, you know, we, we felt wind again, we felt the heat, we felt the sun, we felt the cold. Uh, we had a ton of mosquitoes um, that came out at night when we, we were sitting around the fire. But we had the best time because our body was reconnecting with nature. So being outside, being in nature, being away from home, all of these things help tremendously in restoring energy. Um, and, and I really want to tell you this, so don't feel bad if you want to take time off. Uh, take the time you need um, to really recharge and be present again. Because if we keep going, going, going all year long, we're not helping our energy. 
that is really the lifestyle balance that we need to maintain. Even if we do everything else um, properly, we have to also take that component into consideration. So I want you guys to have super fu much fun in the summer and I hope you get all of you who see this get to do uh, some fun stuff in the summer, some reconnecting and some nurturing with yourself. And um, I also don't want you to sacrifice any health goals you are looking to achieve or that you're currently working on. I don't want you to sacrifice this just because you're changing up your routine. So if you're traveling, right, if you're going on vacation, you don't have your own kitchen available. You know, there can be so many reasons why we say, oh, I'm just going to skip this week. I do whatever I want, right? Or I'm going on this camping trip and there will be tons of alcohol out there at night or barbecue every day or whatever it is, right? Um, I don't want you to sacrifice and throw your efforts um, out with the water just because you take this uh, time that you deserve. Um, so that's why I've created uh, lots of little tiny uh, programs for you over the summer to support you to stay on track with your goals so that you don't I need to start again from scratch when the fall comes along and, and vacation time is over. So let me um, briefly tell you what's going to happen this summer so you know um, how you can uh, engage with me and, and what, what, what might benefit you this summer depending on where you are. So we've, we're kicking off the summer with this meal plan offer that I put out uh, today. So we've just launched it this week and check the blog post that came out uh, today. And what that is, it's a one week recipe, recipe, recipe plan for optimal hormonal health. And when I'm talking about hormonal health, I'm not just meaning female hormones. Yes, those two, but hormones are also insulin. Um, so we need to think about blood sugar here. There are also cortisol, so we need to think about stress here, right? We're thinking about sleep hormones as well. So hormones in generally, and they require nutrients and building blocks um, that for, for our body so that our body can make the hormones properly. So we have to make sure we, we're getting all the nutrients in so that our body can function properly. On the other hand, we don't want to spend all day in the kitchen, right? We want to enjoy ourselves and we want to go on that trip and we want to be away. And then often we delay um, our efforts to work on our health uh, because we don't know how to organize this properly. So this one week recipe plan that I've created for you um, is especially for those situations. I want you to... Um, incorporate all the good nutrients that mother nature provides for us right now. Um, we have lots of summer produce that's coming out and we want to make sure we get lots of it because they're nutrient dense, nutrient rich right now because they're in season. So we definitely want to make use of those. But again, you might not want to walk around every farmer's market you can find and spend hours and and hours in the kitchen or surfing recipes on how to prepare those foods. And that's exactly what I don't want you to do. I want you to benefit from all the good stuff out there um, that is helpful for your, for your hormones and save you time as well. So all the recipes that I've created for you are with um, produce and fruits uh, that are in season right now. So you can benefit from the nutrients and also uh, they're cheaper right now because they are in season. So you're also saving some money. And all recipes are designed that they are just around uh, 15 minutes preparation time. All right, so that's not a long time. You can still do everything you wanna do um, and still benefiting from all the nutrients uh, that are out there for your hormonal health. So it is basically stress-free, okay? That's my, that's my point. I want to help you uh, uh, having a stress-free free meal plan while reaping all the goodness that is here right now. So if this is something that interests you, check out the post or comment below and I sent you the link. You can get that uh, right now. It's available to purchase. 
and um, you can use this every year again because we have the same foods um, coming again next summer and you can use this over and over again it will not come out of fashion so to speak so after you kick your summer off with this uh, really healthy way of eating uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a super fun workshop at the beginning of august and it'll be about healthy mocktails and this is something if you start you know going out again a little bit more now we can in ontario if you live here um, we can go out again a little bit more but you you don't really want to necessarily drink a ton of alcohol especially if you have hormonal goals and one of your goals is to reduce alcohol consumption especially coming out of COVID, a lot of people have the goal to drink less um, we're going to do um, a super fun workshop about healthy mocktails so that you don't have drinking um, so you don't uh, miss out when you meet your uh, friends again. You can still join them. You can even have parties with your friends where you all um, have a fun mocktail together. That might also be a really nice way to have a girls night out to attend this mocktail workshop together and create super, super fun drinks that are yummy, that are not compromising your hormonal health and that uses things that are in season as well so this is going to be super super great oh yeah and i wanted to say it's also for people with autoimmune issues right who don't want to drink a ton of alcohol or if you want to lose weight you know whatever whatever your motivation might be um, this is for you and mocktails are really fun to make and uh and they're yummy Okay, so we're going to do this at the beginning of August. So watch out for advertisements for that. And also drop a message below if you're interested in that. And I make sure that you get the info as soon as they come out. Okay, so we're heading into August. Um, and in August, we have a super fun little mini program. It's called a Summer Nutrition Group Program. And that's really something that that serves all kinds of benefits it's gonna go probably from august 9th to september 3rd that's the period and this is really if you like to have accountability with eating nutritiously this summer okay if you say i fall off the wagon if i don't have someone checking in with me all the time so also again as i mentioned at the beginning we got you covered if you're vacationing in your cottage right and you want to be outdoors most of the time or you don't have a big kitchen if you need extra hydration because you're outdoors uh, uh, all the time and you say well you know I need food to take with me and and hydration but you know like I don't want to spend a ton of time thinking about what to make and what to take um, we're also going to explore local plant food options again this is all about pro produce that's in season and that you can also get if you are going to remote locations but you have um, farmers market there and so on we talk about what you can get there and how you can prepare it if you go on a road trip and you're looking for quick one pan meals to nourish you so that you don't have to hit every um, you know uh, drive through along the way so we got you covered with all of those needs and when you join us for the summer group program I'm going to do a little survey and ask what's important to you this summer so we make sure that we cover this so you get the accountability you get the ideas on how to feed yourself properly for all your nutritional needs when you maybe are not at home but even if you're at home this is super fun as well right so don't let the summer vibe ruin your healthy eating habits okay this is really what I want to tell you guys, don't let that deter you from your health goals uh, while you do all the things you should be doing in the summer, right? Relaxing, rejuvenating, and staying on track while you do all of this. Okay, so super, super important, and I'm here to support you with all of these little tiny mini programs. And as we're moving into the fall, um, there is a ton of very very healthy fall produce that will be coming 
And what we're gonna be doing is from September to October, we will do a fall produce vegetable club. And that's going to be super, super fun because we're gonna learn how to use local fall produce in all of your daily meals. So we're starting at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're using the same foods for all three meals. So you get the maximum benefit of all the things that are in season. Right, that, that gives you the optimal nutrition that you need uh, to feel your best at all times. And so we learn about a new vegetable every week um, and we are learning about how to incorporate this in all of our main meals of the day. And even sometimes maybe a snack and dessert as well. That's, that's super um, possible for a lot of um, fall produce uh, that is coming out. And then we have again a little group discussion uh, about 30 minutes a week via, via Zoom where we can exchange ideas and recipes and it's also a very nice social component to that. So that is it for me for now. There's a ton, 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 ton of stuff that I'm putting out there to support you and to help you through your summer without sacrificing your health goals. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's super important for me and I hope for you as well to really be on a sustainable path to reach or maintain your health goals. This is really what we're all about. It's not just something we do occasionally, but we wanna do it on a consistent basis as best as we can uh, to support our health moving forward. And once the year gets a little bit more stressful again, once the fall comes around in the winter and we're fully immersed again in our responsibilities and our tasks and whatever we're doing, we know that we have a very good foundation that we can build on and that our body is supporting us in all the things we want to do in life because we have dreams, right? We have dreams and we have goals and it's important that we feel up for it and that we can tackle it without feeling held down by the way we feel. All right, guys, I let you go. This was a lot of information. Um, I hope you're, you're excited as I am. And let me know in the comments below which uh, program uh, resonated the most with you, which one you're interested, in, and I will make sure I send you all the links and all the information. And I will talk to you soon again and have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.